Hello and welcome to the review of Jambird's uh, three color backlight multimedia keyboard. This is a basic keyboard uh, and it's quite inexpensive. It costs around 16 or 17 dollars. But anyway, uh, you will see in the review, it does look uh, like a higher level product. That's why I have decided to show this keyboard to you. Anyway, uh, let's continue. So before opening up the box, let's check some specifications. So interface is USB 145 meter soft rubber cable. Could have been a bit longer to be honest. Polling rate 125 Hertz. Illumination, three bright levels using F and key plus page up, page down to increase, decrease, light brightness, on off, breed modes, FN plus uh, LED, LED light and so on. Uh, key lifetime, uh, 10 million strokes, this is nice. Multimedia keys, let's see the keyboard. Okay, pretty basic package. Uh, I have to remind you, this is a very cheap keyboard. Okay, so this is the keyboard. Uh, it's light. Uh, the pattern on top looks like brushed aluminum, but this is plastic. I think this is just a copy of aluminum pattern. Anyway, uh, it's a little bit narrow which is good. I mean, depending sometimes people, they don't have that much space on the desk. It's full width though. So it has numeric keypad here, uh, F1 up to F12 keys, Fn, F1. So we activate them from here, uh, LED page up, page down, and to use the LED backlight function. It is a US layout. So we can see that at is here. It's very soft. It's nice to the touch. Uh, keys seem responsive. So let's connect it and let's see how it types and maybe even to test it in some applications. As we can see, uh, I have connected the keyboard and it lit up straight away. And uh, once you power it on or attach it to your PC, the first color that we see is red. So uh, let's go quickly through all the options, through all the keys, how to manipulate the backlight on this keyboard. So here we have the LED key. By pressing it once, we change the color. So, or we switch it off. So this is how we shuffle through the three colors provided. Now, uh, we can also uh, do the FN key and page up or page down to increase or decrease the light. And again, so this is like the dimmed light, the medium volume of light and the highest. Okay, and let's try the other color as well. And the purple one. So this is quite handy option. Uh, if for example, this is just too strong for you, you can always choose the medium or the lowest setting. Let's choose blue for example. And also by pressing F and key and LED, we get this effect of color shuffling. And let's see how this thing types uh, some text. Okay, so, I mean, it's quite responsive. I can type very fast. The problem is, again, I have a little bit bigger fingers, so I tend to press two keys at once. So this is the only issue that I, I find here. Um, other than that, it's quite good. Uh, what is the thing also that kind of bothers me a little bit, but I think this is something that over time you get uh, used to it and then probably there are no issues. And then if you have smaller hands than me, I probably not, not any issues at all, uh, is the shape of these keys. So they kind of wanted to make them stylish and uh, they're completely square. They're not really uh, kind of, uh, you know, anatomically shaped for your fingers, they're flat. So this is something when you want to 
switch from one key to the other while, while typing and if they are nearby it's a little bit of problem until you get used to it. Okay, so uh, once you start typing a little bit more, uh, it's not that bad. Even this design doesn't influence your typing. Okay, let's jump to the gaming. Okay, so far this seems quite flawless even for gaming. I have maybe a little bit of problem using the ship key with my pinky finger, but probably again this is something that requires time to get used to the new keyboard. Uh, so guys, couple of final words about this Jambird uh, three-color backlight keyboard. Uh, is it worth 16 dollars or 16 euros? Definitely it is. I think this is very cheap option. Um, I think the price probably at some vendors can be a couple of uh, dollars cheaper as well, some a couple of dollars more expensive. But if you get it for this price in between 15 to 17 euros or dollars, I recommend it. Uh, for me it is good because it has backlight option, it has three different colors um, and also it has uh, three different stages for each color uh, to increase or decrease uh, volume of light. Uh, you can also do that shuffle thing if you want. So there are a couple of options there which to be honest I didn't expect for this money which is another plus for Jambert. And the cable was long enough, bear that in mind that it's 145, 1.45 meters length. So this is the only thing that you should uh, be wary of when buying this keyboard, if the cable is long enough. For me, it was because the PC case is just beneath the desk. Well, anyway, uh, the keys are soft to the touch. They are precise, they are fast and responsive. Um, I needed to, to practice a little bit when I was typing. After the third time I was doing the same, for example, text, uh, it was much easier. I didn't make any mistakes or didn't press uh, two keys at once. Uh, for gaming, it was even better. I mean, I just, first time I sat and played a game on it, no issues. I mean, I could just get right into the game. Uh, my fingers would find the keys that I needed, no problems there. So I hope you liked this review uh, and you found it useful. Uh, like and subscribe and I will see you next time. All the best.